Starting off the chapter, Empower Your Ground Zero, is this Bible verse from Isaiah 43, 18 through 19. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the desert. When I first heard that Bible verse, I thought, well, that's a nice idea. It's sort of metaphorical. And then I was watching television during the writing of this book and I learned about this amazing event that happens every year in Southern Africa, in the Kalahari Desert, in the Akavango Basin, shaped like a giant hand, actually overflows, creating streams in the desert that fill the pools. And then when everything overflows, it transforms up to 4,000 square miles of arid desert land into a lush grassland. The elephants, led by a wise matriarchal grandmother, who remembers the ancient paths when the desert is at its hottest, when the grasses are on fire. The elephants do not pull away from the desert. They actually trek into the heart of the desert, going toward the basin, because they know that at the right time, the basin will overflow and transform the landscape from a desert into a lush grassland. And it made me think of grief, that instead of turning away and running from grief, if we trek into the heart of it in family groups led by a wise leader, that indeed we will find the floodwaters of our soul and those floodwaters will bubble up and change the arid desert of our grief into a lush grassland. That's what I want for you.